everyone welcome back to my virtual classroom for our science discovery episode today we will be talking about the physical and chemical properties of matter now there are two types of properties one is physical and the other one is chemical now when we talked about physical properties this is a characteristic of a substance that can be observed without changing the substance into another form for example this orange if I peel it and take out the orange inside, it would still be an orange. Another example would be our paper. If I tear this paper into half or quarter, it would still be a paper. That is your physical property. Physical properties examples would be your volume, your mass or your weight, your density, your melting point, and your boiling point. So each substance, these properties will never change. Other physical properties would also include the color, the taste, the odor, the state of the matter, for example, this marshmallow. The odor doesn't change, it would still identify it as a marshmallow even if I taste it. It's flexibility, for example, this earrings, if I bend it, all right, it's conductivity. It could also include its shape, its ductility, its viscosity, and even its malleability. Now, on the other hand, Chemical property is the characteristics of a substance that can only be observed by changing it into a different substance or different composition. Chemical properties would also be, for example, the ability to burn, the ability to tarnish, the ability to rust, the ability to decompose, and even the ability to react with different other chemicals. We also have our physical and chemical change. When we talked about physical change, this is a change of a substance that does not change its chemical composition or what the substance is made of. So for example, this chocolate on my hand, sorry, there's <laughs> in my hand. This chocolate on my hands, if this melts on my hand, it is still the same chocolate. Its composition, its substance did not change, only its physical appearance. Another example is this paper. If I tear this or change its shape, still it is a paper. Its chemical composition is still the same. It's a paper. That is what we call a physical change. So what are examples of physical change? For example, this one. When I tore this, this is a physical change, meaning change in shape. Or let's say, for example, the chocolate that I place on my hand. That means we only change its face. Now, we have three faces, solid, liquid, and gas. Now, we have a very classic example, which is involving water. When I place this inside the fridge, this will solidify. And yet, its composition is the same. It's water. Therefore, it is a physical change. It's changed to solid from liquid. If I boil this water, this will evaporate. And it will be changed in its phase, which is in gaseous state. So from liquid, it becomes gas. And yet, its composition is the same, which is water. So those are the changes that you have for physical. We have change in shape, change in size, and the change in face. A physical change might be caused by grinding. So if I use a, 
a, a hammer or a, a mortar and pestle to grind this chocolate that is uh, caused by grinding, caused by cutting or crushing. I can crush this, breaking it using a hammer or heating and cooling. Even with this marshmallow, okay, this is the shape of the marshmallow. If I squeeze this, the shape will change. That is also a physical change. A chemical change, on the other hand, is a change in which the substance composition is also being changed into a different substance. So you change what it is made of. So if I tear this paper, this one is just a physical change because the evidence is just change in shape, but I didn't change the composition of the paper. But let's try to do a chemical change for this paper. So I have here candle and this is my paper. So if I tear this or half it, this is still a physical change. That means I just change its shape. But if with this candle and I burn this, you would notice at the end, the composition has changed. Oh, it's gone. It went down. Let me just do it. Ooh. Okay. So you see the burnt part of it? So that is a chemical change. That means we have changed the composition of our paper. Now chemical change is uh, irreversible. That means the burnt part, I cannot put it back as a paper anymore. So that is a chemical change. Another example is our marshmallow. <laughs> okay, so if I squeeze this, that is still a marshmallow, right? It just change its shape. So that is a physical change. Now I'll burn it. Wow. This should be nice. As you can see, right? The edge of my marshmallow is burnt. That means the composition of this part here is not any more the same with this, the rest of the part. That is a chemical change. Chemical change, as I have shown to you, for example, will be burning, rusting, or tarnishing. Those are chemical changes. A chemical change occurs when a chemical reaction causes the bond between the atoms. Mm, let's say this, this paper. It causes the bond between the atoms of this paper to break or to change into a new form. So as you have seen in our, uh, in our ex a mini experiment, chemical change, the evidence is that there was a chemical change is one, it's the color change, like this one. The color change, even with your marshmallow, the color change. The other one is also the odor. Now, if there is a change in odor, that's also a chemical change or a formation of a precipitate. So since we, we, we couldn't do that here, I just showed you only the color change. So that is your chemical change evidences. I hope you have learned something new today and I hope that you have learned about physical and chemical properties of matter and as well as its physical and chemical change. For those that are new to my class, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. And of course, so that you will be notified when the next Science Discovery episode be released. And as always, before we end our episode, Teacher Maria would say, live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode. Bye!